<laughs> We're in. Okay. Good yeah. laughter. Hey, everyone, welcome to the <laughs> Laugh Factory in LA. Um, oh, gosh. We got Seinfeld tonight returning one time. Okay. We're getting way off topic. Okay. Yeah. Seinfeld, Laugh Factory. You know, we've got to determine if if the bowl was super or not for the businesses participating. Should we Should we sure. welcome people in? Sure. First. I mean, I, I like to get right down to business, but you guys go for it. Hey, this is our podcast, uh, Market Abilities. We yes. talk about markets and abilities. Yes. And uh, today we're going to talk about how the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl. Oh, so. man. It was big. It was a big game, and it was a good game. It was yeah, fun it, was, to watch. it was really good. Yeah. At the end, yeah. I mean, on the edge of your seat kind of stuff, right? Yeah. It was a little slow at the beginning. It's like a, it's like a movie. A like 113 slow. million viewership. Gosh. It was, it was again, it was a Doritos commercial uh, of Super Bowls. It did it. Yeah. 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 I, I saw it. Speaking of those numbers, I, <laughs> oh <God. laughs> I saw that number. Yes. Then they compared it to Rihanna's number. How many people tuned in just for oh, Rihanna? Oh, I know. It's it a glorified game that. with a big rock was, concert uh, in the middle. Right. Hey, that's my favorite yeah. part. Yeah. Halftime show. I, I, I like me a good football uh, game. Uh, no, no. Just just, um, <laughs> he likes to get football. I, I played football in high school. Um, it was pretty fun, but I don't know. I'm more of a, a doer than a watcher when it comes to sports. So I gotcha. But uh, hey, it it yeah. is a cultural phenomenon. So interestingly enough, did you guys know that the artists um, chosen to do those halftime shows are not paid? I. I've heard. Th- I mean, they are. Is that like some of them aren't paid? Are paid, but some of them are not paid. Like well, Rihanna was not paid. You're si- well. N- neither was um, Geez. Um, the weekend. Uh, I'm thinking of Lady Gaga. The weekend. Yes, they weren't what, paid. What they did? No, what they did what? was they equated their sales increases following that yeah. that appearance. Uh, for instance, uh, Lady Gaga claiming that uh, her sales increased one thousand percent. Gosh. After her appearance in 2017, so everybody wow. rushes to buy your stuff. Well, it yeah. is like the most watched, publicized like network TV thing every year in the United States. So totally, and I mean Rihanna's already worth like 1.4 billion or something. Uh, something huge. Yeah. yeah, crazy, crazy money. But it was good. I don't. I don't think people, for the most part, I, I don't think they were let down. Well, yeah, besides the the lovely couple who broke up because oh, of the Tubi commercial. Oh, dude, the Tubi um, commercial. The Tubi commercial. Yes. I, uh, A lot of yelling. I uh, found a Reddit post not too long after the Super Bowl uh, about a nice couple who um, are no longer a couple because no. uh, oh, yeah, that the commercial. man accused his new girlfriend of changing the channel <gasps> to mess with him and he uh, freaked out, punched a hole in his wall, yada yada, and so she moved out because of the Tubi commercial. That was destined uh, for doom got, anyway. Wow. Yeah, punch in she a was wall. like, I can't believe over a 15 second commercial that I have to break up with him because he couldn't hold it together. Wow. Well, I think you, it's the one of the greatest commercials I've seen. You liked it? Re- Man, I it think, screwed with me. I was I, like, who's sitting on the remote? It screwed with everybody. What? It went viral. Because everyone's did. reaction yeah. was did. like, yo, why did you change your channel? What's going on? What's going on? What the heck? Like, even that was my reaction, too. Right. It's Everybody. a clinic it was in, great. like, viral filmmaking. Like, they, yeah. they had an idea, and it was executed, I wouldn't say flawlessly, right. but a flaw, flaw fully because everyone totally. freaked out about it, it. It just, it was it was a couple of things. Um, there's been a real shift from television to digital anyway, right? Right, yeah. And if you've made that shift, um, you're still adapting because it's most certainly a different way of watching television yeah. right oh, yes, of course but that the way they were able to capture what it is that the way they can mess with us and they did it they they really Flawlessly. did it well because like they integrated they fooled everybody yeah. yeah they integrated like the game even into it yeah it was so. a mess and then <laughs> i think like, that color bars came up too right which color bars was that, that was one of those yeah. things back in the day it's like oh gee somebody in master so, control is oh, yeah. losing their job today <laughs> you know well speaking uh, of deceptive marketing and uh, this is kind of a weird uh field of marketing because you don't ever want your audience to feel like you're making fun of them or right. that they're stupid but <laughs> oh, uh, mars Oops. and eminem they sort of uh played as hard into that corner as they could for mm-hmm. this uh, i don't know if anyone knows about the lead up to their commercial where they announced that their eminem mascots were going away forever i did see something about that yeah. they were being replaced by uh what's her name maya uh, yeah maya from uh and and then they were going to do something really weird with the contents of the eminems it oh, was oh yeah clams clams <laughs> and <laughs> this all led up to their commercial where clams. it was a big uh 
video about how um, the new spokeswoman Maya was going to change them to to Mayas instead of Eminem. Oh, right, they were going to be clam flavored. <laughs> Uh, and the commercial ends with the Eminem mascots coming back and saying, uh, oh, wha- how, "What's going on? We're not. We're not leaving. We're still here. Right. We're still the mascots. We're contractually of, of bound. Right. Eminem's. We're not going anywhere. So it was a big sort of like prank. I think it was great. I loved the star power in in some of those spots. Like the first one, the Dunkin' Donuts with Ashton Kutcher. I oh, thought no, it was that was uh, it was Ben Affleck. Oh, Ben. That's right, Ben Affleck. It's uh, a reference see, to. See, you can tell I know my celebrity so well. Right. And <laughs> so, someone's probably going to get me for this if I have the wrong movie, but I believe it's a reference to Goodwill Hunting, okay. which is one of Ben Affleck's ben early movies. And Matt, right? Where... Was Matt in that one? Matt Damon, please tell me. I'm not I sure. Have no idea. Okay, great. Uh, so we stumped each other. Yeah. He, he got Dunkin' Donuts coffee in that movie, and all these years later, they brought him back to be in a Dunkin' Donuts commercial. That's cool. So that's and then J Lo happens to pull up. So J Lo was in the commercial. Oh yeah, she's like, "What are you doing?" It. Like, you know, she's tracking her hubby to working there at the <laughs> Dunkin'. It was donut. one of those like hidden camera bits where he's like working. <laughs> he's actually working there. My yeah. gosh. Yeah. So there were some, you know, there were some great moments. I think Serena Williams had a really good one. Um, also, it was really interesting when you saw the um, the Miller light, the Coors light, and then the Blue Moon. And it's like, wait a second, did they buy the rights to? And then we find the out that they're all owned by the same uh, okay. Miller Coors now as the company that was that That's they merged some time yeah. ago, yeah. actually. Huh. A so, monopoly yeah. in beer. Yeah. Just a little bit. I think we've kind of stumbled into the linchpin of a lot of these commercials, though. Uh, Maya, uh, Ben Affleck, mm-hmm. um, Serena. Like, Not a lot Ashton of these Kutcher. are are celebrity powered commercials. Right. Right. And this is almost kind of like the big uh, event of the year where celebrities or celebrity actors do commercials. Like, they're one commercial a year. Yeah. So that's it's true. It's $7 million for the spot, right? right? And then who knows how much they paid these celebrities to, to participate. Course, or maybe yeah. they didn't. Maybe it's the same kind of philosophy as the halftime show that, hey, if I put you in my commercial yeah. with that many people watching, look what it's going to do to your career. That makes sense because like half of those like actresses or like sports athletes are like retired. Right. Like Serena Williams retired. Right, right. Well, one person that's not retired and who is like – being projected bigger and bigger uh, is Jack Harlow. Yeah. And he did this year's Doritos commercial, that was which the, was all the best based on so him funny. making vi- uh, the triangle instrument right. viral to the right. point where everyone was <laughs> playing the triangle instead of rapping. And then he loses the triangle Grammy to Elton John. Elton John. <laughs> was and it was so all good. because they're marketing <laughs> Barbecue Doritos, uh, right? Which crazy. is the most like different flavor you never expect. It's a crazy. Barbecue yeah. And that commercial probably took months to oh, film. Oh, it was so much, so many it actors, so in it. yeah, all celebrities. Did you yeah, expect Jesus good. Christ to show up a couple of times? Jesus. Like uh, JC was represented. <laughs> no, not, not entirely, but it was uh, interesting. It was like, nice. I saw. He gets I saw, us. I saw the ending. Yeah. I saw yeah. the ending. There were a couple. Was, my dad was like, "That was a nice commercial." I was like, "I caught the ending." I. I but, but then, of course, people were saying, you know, would he spend that much money to reach people? Or uh, I, No, he'll come down come from on. the heavens exactly. like Rihanna did. Right. Well, <laughs> uh, okay, Rihanna, <laughs> JC. Woo, I don't know. That's, that's, that's a slippery slope. Speaking there. of production, though, uh, there some of these are basically short films. Yeah. Right. There was one I remember which was very sad, and it was uh, based around cancer. Right. There was like a uh, construction worker and I want to say a businesswoman and they both had cancer and it was sort of this short film of them finding out. Okay. And I can't remember exactly what the company is, but someone told me that uh, the person who owns that company has cancer. Oh, and that's wow. Why that they wow. Made I'll have big, to go check that yeah, out. Cancer that's commercial. And I mean, that's a big stage uh to put on something like that it really is get it in front of people's eyes but i mean from let's look at it for a moment from a marketing standpoint right we run a marketing ad agency (coughs) and the fact that we're on a podcast and we we know the story but we don't know what was being marketed we don't know the product trying to to be sold so like is that is that a successful ad if i I can't really remember the product but i remember the the content content yeah Yeah. um Mm. It, there's so many of these commercials that are just like kind of shotgun blasted at you exactly. at, on the Super Bowl. Exactly. And the ones that sort of win are the ones that the, the product, like 
uh, the only reason I remember it was a Doritos commercial was because like the Dorito and the triangle are the same mm-hmm. shape. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's clearly what their marketing team was Simplified, going on. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll look at some of those flops, even from last year, you know, everybody remembers the, the bouncing QR code. Oh and, my gosh. Uh, yes. Oh, there they was crashed another, their website. Yeah, crashed their, crashed the Absolutely app and, and, and actually it didn't do what they thought it would do. So we no. haven't heard much from, yeah. what was it? It was called, uh, Web three, the gaming or the coin based. Yeah, it was a it was, sixty second. Yeah. Uh, well, there was another one this year, over. but instead of it bouncing, it was like a big treasure chest. I saw that. Yeah, I was right. like, so they're still trying it. I was they really trying. hoping. I saw the commercial. I was kind of like sad for it. I was like, this could have been like so much better if they should have like, <laughs> should have like shown like gameplay, act, like right, actual right. gameplay. Right. But, but like they showed a QR code, then they show another QR code right below. I was like, why do you need both QR codes at the same place and at why the same time? Why is Riley questioning why? Well, so exactly. If I'm questioning it, you got, you got an issue. Well, I don't have one with me because I regretfully didn't grab one unless you have one in your pocket. We have a QR code on our new uh, Mama. Yes, we do. The card. Mid-America Music Awards. And so like we understand the value of QR codes. Well, certainly. They're, they're a instant link to something, anything, web page. Web, right. Uh, based thing we want to show someone so like they're a very practical tool yes mm-hmm. but also they're sort of riding the line between uh being confusing to a to a certain like demographic demographic while right. being like annoying to another demographic but don't you think some of that was nullified with um the menus in restaurants now no matter yeah. how much you despise them and no matter how old young whatever how many times um have you been told hey just just scan it i'll be back in a little bit i mean they're not handing out the no, the menus yeah. anymore at a lot well, of I places i think it's analogous with uh um analogous however you say that word with the chips and credit cards because mm. i mean when that first started people were confused and it's sort of like uh technology and advertising um sort of run in tandem mm-hmm. and uh adapting to new tech while also not leaving people like out of the loop is sort of the struggle i feel like yeah right because qr codes are going to be a necessary evil from now until the next big thing is invented right uh, agree so it, it's sort of strange to see like an entire 60 second commercial of just a qr code yeah i was like but man it worked i mean they had a lot of people 20 million i think pointed off that, off and that yeah but it, it didn't have the sustainability like it was a it was um sort of a whimsy it was a fun something that happened that night oh, but the then it didn't one, yeah. uh it, yeah. it didn't do so well and and we'll have to check on the other one that you pointed out but i'm in total agreement with you i just feel like from a business standpoint it is the biggest night on television or a place that you could yeah. put your commercial right but sort of like for me do you build your million dollar home in that beautiful subdivision where there's one on each side and across the street or is it better to take that investment and put it someplace where you really stand out and you can really make a big splash all year long? Yeah. So like originality over like <coughs> functionality. Cause like Maybe. the, the Jack Harlow commercial had like so many intricate moving parts to it. And I remember it cause it was pretty funny. Yeah. Um, but was like, that the one with Kevin Hart too? I mean, Kevin um, Hart would say something, and that would then I they would jump to. Not. Was the Kevin Hart one the one? He okay. might have been. I'm not sure. There See, was one where they did the babies again. I don't the know babies. If you remember that. No, the they said, yeah, they were all babies though, because I didn't make note of that one. The baby <laughs> Kevin wedding. Kevin Hart is a baby. Yeah, it was not. <laughs> Kevin Hart was not a okay. baby. It was the baby wedding, and right. that was for like E Trade, I think, or something, something like that. Like that yeah. But then Kevin Hart started the one where he would say a name, and then that celebrity would show up, and it was like Tony Hawk, and then it was. Whatever he was referencing, a person would show up. Very different commercial, I guess. Right. But again, yeah. I, we don't know what uh, they were selling or what it was about. <laughs> See, that's the that's the struggle, and I think the commercials that do the best are like the ones where you you can very easily tell what's being like sold to sold, you, yeah. right? Uh, but it's still fun, like. Um, even the garden? Did we know avocados were being sold? Oh my gosh. I, I, by the end of it, I think so. Uh, I, I was like, oh, by the Adam end of Eve it. pulled up. <laughs> uh, I think by the end of it, that was all I was thinking about. For sure, <laughs> nothing else. I wasn't thinking about uh, the Statue right. of Liberty at right. all. At all. Uh, at all. But 
yeah, I think it, it's it's a complicated thing, and some people knock it out of the park, and some people just sort of um, phone it in. Yeah, yeah I agree. And you got to understand all that's going on that night with so many things to look at, and and wanting to be impressed around every corner, and it's hard to hang on to that much information. Yeah, you know, um, it's easily it's easy to get hung up on on particular things and uh but we know the the big game will be going to vegas next, next year, year yes. so they won't win just on the uh the gambling side of things i think and that's going to be really cool because uh las vegas just built their new mm. stadium last, mm. this last up every year so yeah right. it's gonna be really cool retailers are pumped they're oh they're gosh, saying like yes. 160 million people will spend on food buying new television sets to prepare for the game really um yeah like it's oh. crazy. So I, I guess they they Same. lump all this in every year to determine how much furniture people will buy new furniture for the Super Bowl. Just for the Super Bowl, isn't that crazy? Just to get it all it's dirty. Like, with man, all we're having your a Cheetos party. And we are having a party. And and these like food companies too, because it, it is low key like one of the big. It's not a holiday. Well, uh, it, 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 it it on the calendar, right. like lawfully, <laughs> it is not a holiday. <laughs> yeah. But in a lot of people's minds, they treat it just as important as something like. Uh, Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, wow. where they bring yeah, people the together. Bowl. Yeah. And no doubt. Yeah, it's like it's it's their fourth big family thing of the year. Mm-hmm. That's true. Like yeah. that. that is But true. that's just crazy that um you were saying that Las Vegas, all the all the companies lo- lo- even lo- local oh, businesses yeah. are gonna like skyrocket. Oh, no doubt, man. Casinos, With yeah. the hotels. Everything. It's a good time to have a, a food truck or yeah. a, a wing company yeah. or I mean there are some, definitely some staples that go along with the uh the Super Bowl. Avocados. I mean, we know that, right? <laughs> yeah, avocados. So, but, you know, that we just, we bring it full circle to say, um, if you don't have a marketing plan for the entire year, whether it's a big event locally, nationally, you know, where you live, yeah. um, figure out a way to get involved because there's a reason they create these stages for you to present, you know, your, yep. your best foot forward. So um, to whatever degree it is that you're that you're playing the game, uh, you do need to let people know that you're out there. So you need to to get your marketing content, make sure you got your social platforms, all that good stuff. And learn how to use QR codes. Yes. Learn how While to they're here. Uh, get the most out of them. And if you can't figure it out, ask us. We know how QR codes yeah. work. That's right. And we can even produce them. your social, uh, your so- Super Bowl. All of it, baby. Super Bowl. All of it. Oh, of course. Commercial. Yeah, yeah we, we actually did have, have a little action. How many did we have? In the, uh, three? Well, we had three businesses we represent, and, and regionally speaking, so we're in the middle part of America, and yeah. uh, so they were broadcast to about five states, and that commercial block was just as they were beginning to close out the second quarter into halftime. So it was great placement. Yeah, that's a great. Yeah, and it's ten to 15000 versus that $7 million price tag oh, you'd yeah. have, you know, in the first oh, yeah. and second quarters. It's, it's not just all about the big national commercials. Like, every local region has spots to fill as well. Correct, correct. And we're here to help you, growingmediamarketing.com. Also, we don't want to gloss over the fact we introduced uh, MAMA again, which is the Mid-America yeah. Music Awards. Find that. Uh, find our QR code and uh, market abilities. We want you here each and every week. Is it still dropping on Mondays? Yeah, Mondays. Yeah. I think I think ten ten nine thirty ten. Okay. Hey, find it. Yeah. Maybe we'll find out who the best triangle player in the Mid Americas <laughs> is. Ting ting ting. ting. Oh, oh no no no! no, 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 no wrong one. one. <laughs> Uh, it's a little see, that's what. Well, exactly. We're gonna. Hey, we're gonna get out while we're ahead. We'll see you next time. Peace out. Peace out.